Gonna take a little ride on the new Honda. XR150L. I've got 3.7 miles on it. I had my phone in my pocket when I first took off a few minutes ago and it was in the slash pocket of this jacket along with the vehicle registration and proof of insurance. And I decided I was gonna go back home and get my chest mount here, put the phone in it. I got home and I didn't have my phone or my registration in my pocket. So I came back out the same route I started and the phone made it a half a block and the registration made it another half a block. So they were both sitting there waiting for me. I got really lucky. So now I'm not carrying anything in my slash pockets. I'm just taking a little route through the big tree area so uh, there's very little traffic in this part of town. So. And I haven't been on a motorbike in quite a few years. The reason I quit way back when was I felt like I was taking my life in my hands whenever I went out riding. The drivers just, just didn't see you. And pull right out in front of you, you know. You don't have that happen so many times. You get tired of it. I think I'm going to have to adjust the rear brake pedal up to a little bit higher position. I have to put my foot down while it's blown away. To... I'm a little big for the bike, I think, but I'm getting used to it. It's amazing. I'm showing like 26, 27 miles an hour. It feels like I'm doing 40. It's just a sensation of speed, you know, you get the same thing on an ATV or anything like that, you get so used to going fast in the car, it's a different deal, you don't feel it near as much, it's going to take me a little while to get used to it, it's mostly stopping is the most difficult thing right now, so, taking off is no issue, it's uh, just balancing, coming to a stop. Right there, feel, feel a little wobbly. This is the first time this bike's been warmed up. You can smell all the little smells as everything is getting hot and burning off. Whatever little thing is on its surface. So, it's, um, Lesser traveled streets. Until they get a little more comfortable. I've got a new full face helmet coming too. I'll feel a little bit better with it on. This is just a little open face. I do have an action camera now. And I've got uh, mounts on this helmet. So I will. We'll be using the action camera probably in the future. I haven't used it yet. I hope I can use it and then get the video signal I transferred to either to the phone here or my laptop so I can post them somewhere. I think I'll be able to do that. Might have to get a video edit or something. Keep it in fourth. Put boat for sale. This 
fence on my right is pretty comical. I don't know who put it up, but got some whoop de doos in it. Nice day for golfing. We've had a lot of rain. Of course, should be soft and certainly green. thing I do know I'm going to have to get used to is remembering to turn off the turn signal. Oh, you just have to push it. Okay. Because that'll get you killed. I'll be a pull right out in front of you if they think you're going to turn or really not going to. Anyway, this is the public golf course here in Casper. It's, uh, it's pretty nice. It's relatively inexpensive as far as golf courses go. It's 27 holes worth of a quite nice golf course. And like I say, boys, it just looks like Ireland around here. It's so green. We've just had so much rain. We had some super big snows in the winter. And then now we've followed it up with, uh, I mean, you know, two, three inches of rain over a couple days. That's huge for here. We never get that. We're probably already past our average yearly precipitation. It's only two. We only usually get about 11 and a half inches of free sip in a year, you know, so if we're above that already, that's just awesome. This place would be heaven if uh, if we got more rain. Okay, so I'm going to stop the recording now. It's been fun. Later.